हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड अस्सलाम वालेकुम वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई बी ऑल डिजाइनिंग डेवलपर लाइक इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव लर्न दैट व्हाट आर द प्रॉप्स इन रिएक्ट 18 एंड आई होप यू एंजॉय दैट वीडियो सो इन टुडेस वीडियो वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट स्टेट एंड आई विल बी टेलिंग यू व्हाट इज स्टेट इन रिएक्ट 18 हाउ टू यूज अ स्टेट एंड व्हाट आर द थिंग्स इंपॉर्टेंट इन रिएक्ट 18 टू लर्न अबाउट स्टेट सो दिस वीडियो विल बी रियली हेल्पफुल एंड आई होप यू विल बी एंजॉयिंग दिस वीडियो अबाउट द स्टेट व्हिच वी आर वर्किंग and which we will be doing so remember to see this video from start to end if you want to learn how to just use this state and how to build project using this state in react 18 and you can also check my previous react 18 videos which i have uploaded from start to end because that been giving you help moving forward so just i hope you will be start understanding today's video also because that will be giving you help so remember to hit a like to this video and if you are new on this channel hit the subscribe button and also share this video so more people can learn and they can take benefit of these amazing things and i'll be uploading more videos like that in future which will be helpful for you and i hope you will be enjoying that all things so just now we'll be starting with today's video and seeing what is state in react 18 and how to use it from start to end so just like i've told you in today's video i will be telling you about a state what is a state and how to use it so just now we'll be starting with our project and seeing what is a state and how to use it in react 18 so for building and for using this project here i will be opening my vs code and after opening your vs code text editor you have to close all the files which you are having and now here when you just close these all stuff here i will be just doing one thing like here i will be now opening my file and then i will be opening my folder which is created on local disk c in which we were writing this is our folder f1 now here i will be opening this folder in my vs code when you open just you have to run this using terminal so you have to write the command which is called npm start to run your file so here now you have to wait a while till your file will be running it will be taking some time to run so you have to here is all the stuff here which we are getting then we will be just moving on and then we will be getting all the stuff here so just now when you uh, remove that all things you can see we are just getting npm start and now you can see we have just started our localhost server and then it will be running it in our browser so you have to now wait a while till it will be running and where it will be running so we will be getting it and then we will be working on that so here first of all we are getting all this prop with reference so we were working with props previously on so now here i will be raising these all stuff because now our previous video is the uh, previous video has been finished now here we will be working with today's video which is about uh, state here so now we will be using state tags and we will be importing state tags so you can see now it is starting the development server on my default microsoft edge browser now when you open this just you have to do it side by side now coding side should be at the left and at the right we will be getting our interface side here when you are getting all this stuff then you have to just now do one thing press control v to close side panel now it is saying that compiled successfully means our react app and you can say react 18 app is running successfully on our browser so here i'll be closing all these file then directly you have to save this and after saving here i will be doing one thing like i'll be pressing control v to close the side panel because i will be not needing now we are getting nothing here because we have just not made anything here so we have to now use state and i will be telling you what are state so here first of all for using state you have to import state from here so i will be writing import state from and then here i will be writing react dash index like this now when you return this so like this you have to import the state or you can download a state from the terminal as well so for downloading you have to move to terminal after moving to terminal right here npm i which is means that install and npm install then i will be moving by giving a space and here i will be writing npm install then we have to install our uh, you can see the command so here i will be writing state we have to install this state prop stack so here i will be pressing npm install state now your state will be installing here so you have to wait a while till it is installing you can see so it is saying that we fi state and you can see it has solved then it has been installed so now your state tag which you want to use has been installed here and after when it is installed you have to now move in this diff tag after this then we have to work with this state tag so for working you have to write here import state from state library state because now we have downloaded the state library from our terminal so we can work with now state tag so here we have to do one thing also like here you have to make a tag of state like we have imported it because now when you just import this this you have to now write here this is a state so here i will be writing this is a state like this save then you can see we are getting this is a state means our state tag is working now 
if you want to check it is working perfectly so you can go to inspect here moving to inspect you will be moving to console after this after moving to console you can see it is saying that the tag state is unrecognized in this browser because this is the old version browser which we are using microsoft edge and i will be recommending you use google chrome to get the new features and new latest things which you want in your browser but i am using the old version browser to just show you what things you will be getting when you will be using less feature browser or any like or anything like that so we are getting a state is a uh, unrecognized in this browser if you mean to render a react component start its name with an uppercase letter means it is saying that you have to start its name with the uppercase letter so if i just start the name with the uppercase letter like this so it has been changed into yellow you can see it is giving error because it has been not defined here so i will be giving here also the capital name now save this you can see now the error has gone but the error is coming here it is saying that uh, your you can say the error is occurred in the state like this it is giving error now if i take this s to capital as well again it is giving error so here i will be now doing one thing i will be taking all this stuff to small s you can see like this here i will be doing then move down and do like this save this now we are just getting and it is saying that this is a state here we are just getting so like this here we'll be working and i'll be telling you how to just use this state tag here directly so now we'll be starting uh, so just now here if i save this tag and then you can see now here we are not getting any error because now it is saying that uh, state is unrecognized like i've telling you this is the old version browser because of that we are getting that error but if you are using google chrome or opera browser so you will be not getting any error and here on the page you can say on the front end interface we are also not getting any error means our state tag is working and now we can move on and work with this tag so here this was the thing which i want to show you and this was the state tag here which we have used and like this you can work with the state tag and soon we will be building the project also using a state tag but in this react tutorial just i'm telling you about the different tags which we will be using uh using react 18 so just i hope you understand you understand how to use this state tag in react 18 and what are the things important to use uh, state tag and you want to use uh, like new feature browser so you can use it because that will uh, just giving you helps remember to use new version browser so you will be getting all the latest feature and you will be also getting not the error of state but i have just shown you so you can just understand if you are using old version browser because your pc just not come uh, you can say comfortable with the new version so if you are using old version so you will be getting some of the errors like that so you don't have to be afraid of these errors just you have to uh you can say solve these all errors like i am was solving so just now we'll be uh, meeting in next video with more amazing things and more amazing tutorials like this one so just for today good bye